Yo, yo, what's up? It's your boy Geo, aka Anything with Motors. Uh, this subject right here is gonna be a little different today. I just wanted to say why they don't make no more SRT fours, and I'm curious. So it's a few things that comes to mind. You know, the SRT fours. You know, you got a lot of kids that get those cars, and when they get them, they wreck them, they suck them up. You know, make them crazy fast. Don't know nothing about cars, or you know, they might have friends that know about cars, and you know, they might wreck them, or you know, get too many tickets, or you know, something of another. I'm pretty sure when they came out, they was only in production from three years, 2003, four, and five. So in those years, I'm pretty sure that they sold out because there's no dealers with them, you know. And I was checking, you know, dealerships and all kinds of stuff like that back then, too, because I had a friend that had an SRT4. And when I heard the thing and I was just like, what in the world kind of car is that? You know, so I, I further did research and it was just something that I think that I wanted to check out and actually see how it went. And soon as I had the chance to buy one, can you believe one of my friends got one the day before I actually picked my car up? You know, I went to Atlanta to get my first SRT and this mug went and got a car. He had a red one and I took a spin in it. It was a stock SRT. You know, they come turbo stock and I was just blown away after that, you know, and I'm just trying to figure out why they stopped making them because they made the neon SRT for then they made the caliber SRT4. And then they was talking about making a Dart SRT4. And it was supposed to be an all-wheel drive. The only thing that I can think of that they didn't make it was because the three years that the car was out, my car, not the caliber, was they won r trophies in uh, drifting. They won drag. They won track. They won street racing. It was considered one of the fastest four-cylinder cars out there. I've seen uh, quarter miles on YouTube. One had 6.89 at 197 miles per hour. That's supercar speeds. Yeah, I know it may sound absurd. It may sound like it's a drag car. But even my car right now, you know, 600 plus horsepower, the, the cars are fast. They'd only weigh 27, 2,800 pounds at a four door. That's way less than an Evo, which is at 3,500, and a STI, which is at 37, 3,800. Yeah, I know it's the all wheel drive that weighs more, but power to weight ratio, you know? The only thing, another thing that comes to mind is why they stopped making them was because. The cars was just too crazy fast, you know, and it was targeted for younger people, you know, younger kids around our age or younger, you know, and they're not fit for the car. Not many are. Some people can control the car, but you got crazy kids out here nowadays that just want to speed and just want to this and want to that. Like, yeah, I used to want to speed and I love speed and, you know, I don't like tickets, though, you know, and I like driving fast, but turbo should actually keep you from speeding because you hear it before you know you actually start accelerating not like a mustang where it's just you know really loud you make a lot of noise and you just gun it out because you just hearing straight noise so a turbocharged car you know you're hearing turbo so you would think you would have the speed thing under control one advantage that i can say that i do like about it i like rare cars i like different cars like me one of my favorite cars as far as an exotic car is a 911 turbo tech arc it's not that many of them at all, you know, and then bringing it back to my car. It's only three years that they made them. So they're very rare. Anytime I go to a car meet, I rarely see them. I rarely see them unless it's like two, three, four hundred cars. I might see five or six. It was one car meet that I went to. It was, it was hundreds of cars. And me and my buddy, you know, we both got SRT fours and I went out there and it was like 20 of them. And I was just so shocked. So I had to check out all of the cars, man. I, I looked at all the SRT4s before I looked at anything else. And there's no disrespect. Just one of my favorite cars. The SRT is hands down one of my favorite cars. And I love it. You know, and it's just rare. I like rare cars. I like to not be seen on the road. And the next thing you know, you ride down the road, you see 10 or 12 more of your cars. It's not fun, you know, in this type of era. You don't want to have... A million cars like yours you know and if you do have a lot of cars that's like that if you fix your car up they can look at yours and say hey you know i'm gonna do the same exact thing but you know my car is so 
uh, UFO is so rare, you know, it's out of this world. You don't really see that many of them. So that's another thing that keeps me going. I like rare cars. I like different cars. You know, we have all kinds of cars that comes to my car meets from GTRs to Corvettes to Vipers to NSXs to, you know, all the way down to Eclipses and Civics and, you know, just anything. Supras, you know, we have all of that stuff that comes out and Mustangs and Camaros. It's tons of them, tons of them. You know, it's not that many meets that I go to besides me and my boy that I see SRT4s. It's a few that come out every so often, but not that many at all. So that's one advantage that I can say that I do like that they didn't make anymore. But if they did make more, it probably wouldn't have been a SRT4 I have. It would have been a Dart anyway. So it wouldn't have really mattered. You know, and then the, the thing that they have going now with the laws and stuff, you got to put all this weight, extra added weight for safety, this and safety, that. So it wouldn't even weigh 27, 2800 pounds, probably like 32, 33. And then it's on my all wheel drive. That would have been like right at Evo and STI weight or the new Focus RS weight. You know, and the Focus RS is, is really taking over because they don't make Evos no more. You know, and STI, they, they putting so much safety things in them. The newer ones are slower than the old ones. And then they, they bring out the Focus. They used to have the uh, SVT Focus. And then, you know, now they had the uh, ST Focus. And now the RS Focus is just messing everything up. You know, it's just, you know, it's it's crazy how the car world is set up. But in my favor, it's a good thing because I like rare cars, like I said, once again. You know, I'm just sad that people don't really look at them like how they should you know as far as the speed what they can do what you know the whole ability of the car that it has accomplished in the time that it was here in three years so you can get a stock srt4 with 230 you can get a stage one stage two stage three comes with 380 horsepower do zero to 60 in four seconds a quarter mile and 11 that's faster than tuner cars today like a sti or even an Evo or a Focus RS or, you know, um, Civic SI Type R or the Moonjin or, you know, 